We call this self-gifting. Self-gifting. So you say, what is my offering to God? The best offering to God is yourself. Yourself. And all you have. And all you do. And all you say. All your talents. All your time. <clears throat> the Gospel, Matthew 16, Jesus foretells His passion and resurrection. Bottom line, this. What profit for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? In other words, God should be number one in our life. That's why when, when, I, when I see people whose 24 hours is all about making money, I, I remember Matthew 16. Okay, you gain the whole, all this money and then what? Commentary 24, Divine Love. You see this in Romans chapter 5, verse 5. The spirit of the Beatitudes. Essentially, that's divine love. 26 to 27 must be highlighted, the first paragraph. Christ's words are crystal clear. Every person has to bear in mind the last judgment. Salvation is something radically personal. He will repay every, every man for what he has done. Man's goal does not consist in accumulating worldly goods. These are only means to an end. The ultimate goal is God Himself. Double underline, the ultimate goal is God Himself. That's so why we say here, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross. That's so why we need to keep that perfect communion with God. Okay, let's pray. Hmm.